Huge line. For many Iowans, the first they heard of SpaceX Starlink Internet is when strange lights started appearing in the night sky in spring 2020. There's all these lights and what looked to me like they were they were jets. I thought we were being attacked by Russia. <laughs> and I thought, what is that, you know? And because it was like they were all in perfect, perfect file. And um, I got on the internet, started checking around, and then found out what it was. It was Elon Musk Starlink. Lift off. The launch on April 22nd, 2020 carried 60 spacecraft into orbit around Earth. Since then, as of late March 2021, there have been 23 launches carrying 1,385 Starlink satellites to orbit. And I've seen it spike up to 320 megabits per second. John Dunnigan is one of the first Iowans to use Starlink at his home in rural Des Moines County. Locked in. SpaceX started offering a limited service in select areas of the state as part of a test beta program. Users acknowledge there may be sporadic outages due to the fact the satellite constellation is still not complete. Deploy confirmed. Just a fraction of the proposed 12,000 satellites are operational. I didn't even think about it when we moved in about internet options and we had nothing. You know, for years we've been sitting out here with no speed, nothing, and frustrations. You, if you want to sit down and watch a movie, you couldn't do that. You'd, you'd you know, I'd sit there and buffer, but with Starlink, if you're watching movies or doing just basic computing, you're going to be fine. All the way across the state in Woodbury County, outside of Sioux City, a small community is anxiously awaiting their opportunity to join the Starlink program. I think it's amazing what uh, SpaceX has managed to do. And as they continue to build up the mega constellation, I think it's just going to make it better and better for everyone. In rural parts of America, high speed, dependable internet can be hard to come by. Recent studies show up to 50 million Americans lack proper high-speed, low-latency internet coverage. While the government continues to throw money at the problem, it's a slow process for existing internet providers working to build fiber lines through remote areas. It's pretty tough for them to expand in a rapid method like this, where Starlink and, and Elon Musk are going to be able to cover the entire planet. Traditional internet via satellite is located 22,000 miles overhead of the surface of the Earth. That provides a lot of latency, long time for you to connect to maybe a website you're trying to reach. Starlink is different. Those Starlink satellites are located only about 342 miles overhead. That's 65 times closer, greatly enhancing internet reliability and speed. The stop of Falcon 9 and Starlink Ocho. With the ability to access high speed, low latency, reliable internet anywhere on planet Earth, Starlink has the potential to change how and where people live. I think people will always consider moving outside of the city because it's more tranquil and it's a great place to live. But there are drawbacks and internet is one of the biggest ones. And I think it's only gonna get better. I'm with the first meteorologist 